Howdy y'all, you got the Bulldog on the channel. Uh, working on this old square body, we're trying to finish it up. And when it came in, it had a great big oil leak. We put new valve cover gaskets on it and double checking everything. And it had, you know, a decent sized oil leak in the same spot. Here's what we got. Customer built the motor himself. You see them brand new heads and brand new chrome valve covers. What was going on is right here on the edge of the valve cover. This was all so tight that it was sitting on top of the head rather than torquing down on the gasket surface. So I had to take it over there and dolly out this edge, open it up a little bit so that it would fit over the lip of the head. And I just test, test fit it without the gasket and it sits over top of the edge now. Now we can put it together and torque it down and it'll actually be torquing onto the gasket rather than just on the edge of the valve cover. So don't think that just because you got new parts that they're all gonna work and they're all gonna play well together. You gotta double check yourself. Uh, we gotta do that constantly because there's, there's a lot of parts and it's getting worse and worse where it's, you get new stuff and it just doesn't fit. No way it's gonna fit. You know, it, it, it's aggravating. It's really aggravating because that you, there's an expectation of, yeah, you get this for a small block Chevy and you get this for a small block Chevy and you take this and you go here and everything's interchangeable. Well, it's supposed to be. It don't fit sometimes and they don't test fit stuff at the factory. You know, they'll do a line, they'll run uh, 10,000 stampings. They checked, they tested the first one. Well, you got number 9,728. That's had some steel run through that stamping machine. It might not fit anymore. So, yeah, be mindful of that when you're doing your build. Like, comment, subscribe, hit your little bell notification, share it around, and we'll talk at you later.